With VNC Server from Real VNC, you can gain visual access and control of your Raspberry Pi's desktop using another computer or device. All you'll need is a licensed version of our VNC Server software on your Pi and VNC Viewer on your client device. This video will teach you how to install and connect to VNC Server in Service Mode, which displays your Pi's desktop on your client device as if you are sitting directly in front of it. If your Pi is headless, VNC Server should be run in Virtual Mode instead. This will create a virtual desktop that exists only in your Raspberry Pi's memory, allowing visual remote access if your Pi doesn't have a monitor, or if you're not running a graphical desktop environment. Visit realvnc.com slash products slash vnc slash raspberry pi for further information about this. To begin, either SSH into your Pi as per this tutorial, or open LX Terminal from within the Pi itself. Run the command on the screen to download the VNC server Debian package. For your convenience, we've added this command and every other to the video description. Once the package is downloaded, navigate to its location and run the command on the screen. You may need to replace the file name here with the version of VNC Server you downloaded. You must then license VNC Server with a free, personal or enterprise license. To obtain one, visit realvnc.com slash products slash VNC, decide which license is right for you, and follow the on-screen instructions to obtain it. Your license key will be emailed. Run the command on the screen to apply it, replacing the angled brackets and everything within them with the key you received. Running the previous command will have left you with a fully licensed version of VNC Server on your Raspberry Pi. To run VNC Server in service mode, type the command on the screen. Remember that in this mode, your client device will display exactly what is shown on your Raspberry Pi's desktop. Before making a connection, it is recommended you configure VNC Server to start running as soon as the Raspberry Pi is turned on. This will allow you to restart your Pi from within VNC Viewer and automatically reconnect to it after reboot. Type the command on the screen to do this. You must then ensure that your Pi starts its graphical desktop at startup. Run sudo raspi-config, select enable boot to desktop slash scratch and choose the middle option. If you do not do this, VNC Viewer will fail to reconnect because your Pi will stop at its console on boot. As VNC Server is now awaiting an incoming connection, you can open VNC Viewer on your client device. If this is not already installed, you can download it free from the Android or Chrome web stores, iTunes, or online at realvnc.com download. Type the IP address or hostname displayed by VNC Server. You will then be asked for a password, so enter the one you specified during VNC Server's installation. Voila! You should now be able to see and control your Raspberry Pi's desktop through your client device. If you apply the configuration to automatically start VNC Server whenever the Raspberry Pi is powered on, you can experiment with restarting your Pi and watching VNC Viewer reconnect as soon as the Pi has rebooted. If you're struggling to establish a connection, it may be because you're trying to do so over the internet. This requires extra configuration, which we will link instructions to at the end of this video's description. We hope you enjoy using RealVNC's VNC server software for the Raspberry Pi as much as we do.